well. Gone are the days where active wear was exclusively worn at the gym because nowadays you can just wear it wherever you want. Mm -hmm. School pickup, coffee dates, even at work. And fashion designer Lorna Jane Clarkson agrees. So much so, she's launched International Active Wear Day. I'll be celebrating. Lorna, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> good morning. Thanks for having me, guys. Look, I don't need to be told that there's an official day to wear it. If I'm not at work, I'm wearing it. Um, but tell us more. What are we celebrating? Okay, so International Active Wear Day is just to serve as a reminder to everyone about how wearing active wear benefits you. When you wear active wear, you move your body more. So, you know, we all know there's an International Donut Day, there's an International Pancake Day. For goodness sake, there's almost an International Tug of War Day. And mm. even though I don't really eat donuts or pancakes, I find myself eating them on those days. So International Active Wear Day is just, just going to serve as a reminder and ask people to put on their active wear and see See how much more they move their bodies during that day. So this active wear movement began during lockdowns. We were all working from home where we're in comfy clothes all the time. Mm -hmm. What's next for the trend? How can we spruce it up for work? You know, I think the active wear trend happened way before COVID. We, you know, we were wearing it on the weekend, we were still wearing it to the gym. But I think when we were working from home, it really highlighted the benefits of wearing active wear while we were working. I mean, it increases productivity, it increases creativity, and it, uh, it is beneficial for overall health and well-being. I mean, you can just get up from your chair and go for a walk. You're ready mm. to be active at any time. So now we're back at work. I think the next level is, can we wear it to work? And how do we dress our active wear up to wear in the workplace? Well, how do we do that? Because there have got to be some boundaries here. We can't just turn up in our sweaty <laughs> tights and a crop top, right? Like, there's right? got to be... A I line. did that, it was a mistake. Big mistake. Absol <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, at Lorna Jane, we've been wearing active wear to work every day since the business began. But I understand that, you know, more corporate workplaces, you can't do that sort of thing. So I'm sort of modelling um, something today, and you can see some stuff on your screen. Like today, I've just got some active pants on, of course, a sports bra, an oversized t shirt. And then you just make it a little bit more corporate and more acceptable in the workplace by actually putting on a more corporate style, like a blazer, uh, making sure that you're not wearing your smelly sneakers, you're wearing like a more upmarket sneaker. And you know, at my desk, I just, I don't wear the jacket, I'm just wearing my active wear. But then when I have to go to a meeting or leave the office to see people, I just pull on the blazer. And it works for me, I'm sure it will work for everybody else. Smart idea. Thanks, Lorna. Good to see you. International Active Wear Day will be held next Tuesday on the 28th. Register via the link on your screen.